just want to greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to tell you about my dear friend, Pete Ace. Pete, I, I know that you're still preaching the gospel with all your heart, with your dear wife and your family. He's even got family in China. That's wonderful. What a way to spread the gospel. Many, many years ago, when I just come to know Christ, we were living in that little pole and dagger, that wattle and daub house with about two rooms. A man came to see us. And his name is Pete Ace. Now, we were brand new Christians. We didn't know much about miracles, signs, and wonders. And this man came, and he taught my children how to fish. <laughs> and they caught some nice bass in the dam. And he then showed them, I was busy probably planting maize or plowing, how to salt them with salt and lemon, and um, gut them properly, and then roast them on an open fire. They were delicious. Then at night, he got his guitar out. He stayed with us. And he started playing us some beautiful Christian choruses, beautiful songs. We'd never heard them before. We were sitting there in tears. And then he started to prophesy. Folks, I want to tell you, he was very accurate. Now, remember, by that time, I mean, I was preaching, but maybe to 10 or 15 people, going to a little church here, a little church there. He said, People are going to be changed. They're going to come to this farm by the multitudes. And God is going to do a miracle here. And words to that effect. I don't say I didn't believe him, but I was amazed. Just as well it didn't happen straight away because I wouldn't have been able to handle it. But you know something, folks? It happened. The last Mighty Men conference we had on this farm, we had 450,000 men. Not people, men. And you know, you don't get a lot of men going to church. So I want to I say that that was one of the highlights of my life. What amazed me with Pete Ace was, he was a school teacher. And he showed, he told his students in his class, I don't know how many there were, 20, 30. He said, I'm going to take you on a holiday. And we're not going to take a penny with us, not a cent. God is going to provide for the whole holiday. We're going to go right around South Africa. Do you know that those children with their rucksacks went with that man of God and had a complete holiday and they never paid for a thing. They would stand at a stop street. People would stop, give them a lift. They'd go to the next town. People would give them food, a place to stay. And he did that for about, I don't know how many weeks. A man indeed of God, a man of faith. And I had the privilege to visit him. He lives in Harry Smith now, in the Orange Free State. And he's still on fire for the Lord. He's still talking about signs and wonders and miracles. Please pray for him and his dear wife. God bless you.